welcome back to the channel. My name is Hope and this is Mission Keto. Today's video is going to be a cooking video. I'm gonna cook a few things for you, but I'm also gonna be trying out a new air fryer. I know what you guys are thinking. Hope, how many air fryers do you need? I do love reviewing air fryers, I do. But I'm only gonna use, I'm only gonna review ones that are very unique and different because uh, everybody's got different needs and wants when they're doing an air fryer or limited space. I think this might be a really neat option for uh, people in the RV or people in small spaces, small apartments. Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. So I do want to mention that when I do these air fryer reviews, um, I'm going to keep the one that works best for me. And then Andy and I have decided that we would probably donate uh, any of the other ones that we've had. Um, because we love air fryers. I love trying new ones out. And like I said, this one was so unique that when they sent it to me, I was like, uh, you'll understand why when you see it. It is called the Medea air fryer, but it's called a dual basket air fryer oven. It has got two racks. The air fryer option is a, the upper rack and you can roast, bake, and toast things on the bottom one. And you guys know, I am uh, i don't have an oven here. And so that definitely piqued our interest when they reached out to us to review this air fryer. Um, we're gonna be making something dually in the bottom roasting and in the top air frying. So I'm pretty excited about that. You can do it simultaneously. Another thing I'm excited about or curious about is, is it gonna blow our fuse in the RV while we're cooking? Cause it's gonna be using two different functions at the same time. So we'll keep you updated on that also. But as you can see, it is a pretty cool looking thing, uh, but I can't wait to get started. So they did ask me that I would cook chicken legs in the bottom and roast those and up in the top, some vegetables. The vegetables that they requested, Medea, I love you, but we don't eat those. I can't eat them cooked or anything. So I'm going to cook something that we're going to eat. And I think this would better um, fit for our channel viewers and subscribers. So let's get started on this. I'm pretty excited to see how these turn out. All right, so here it is out of the box and everything. I mean, it's, it's a good size. It's probably a little bigger than the last one that we had, but it does have two compartments. Like I said, um, if you saw me opening it, uh, I'm, I think it's pretty cool looking, honestly. Um, so up here, we'll look at these controls later. I don't have it plugged in right now, but it is all digital. So we'll look at that stuff later. The top is the air fryer basket. So hold on, I gotta use one hand for that. So it's like pretty average size. It's probably actually gonna be a little smaller than what you're used to because you have two options here. But this is so cool. I'm really excited to try out a baking and a roasting feature and to be able to do both at the same time. I think that's pretty cool too. And that actually works well for us because you know, a lot of times Andy's eating maybe meat that I'm not wanting to eat and we can maybe cook both of our things at the same time. So it keeps blurring up, so I apologize. I'm trying to get my camera to focus. Okay, so now here we just open that and there is what the grill option looks like. So it's got a tray that comes with it. I already put it in there. And then right here, there is a drip tray also. So I'm gonna look a little more into it and see, but like, remember I got in my grocery haul and my Aldi finds, I got a couple of trays for my convection oven and I'm wondering if they might fit in here too, if I wanted to make like my macaroons or things like that. So it's very cool. I'm liking it uh, so far. I haven't even turned the darn thing on yet, but yeah, let's get started. Okay, so what I'm gonna make is I'm going to make some chicken wings. I'm gonna season these up and put them in the oven portion. And then we're gonna cut up some bread cheese and put it in the air fryer basket portion. So we're gonna kind of get things started here. Sorry that it keeps getting blurry. I don't know what's going on. But here's what it looks like when you turn it on. And it's pretty cool because it kind of stops everything because it says open. But you've got your upper and then your lower controls. So. Let's get started. All right, 
you guys. So I have it started and it's pretty cool. Um, what you do is you just kind of click on, here, let me turn that off so you can see better. We started with lower, lower's on this side, or I'm sorry, upper is on this side. And I clicked air fry. I put the temperature that I wanted and for how long. And it's very quiet. It's running right now and we can't even hear it. And then once you hit each different uh, suggestion or category, you hit this button in and you're good to go. It goes to the next thing. And then you click this to the right and it'll go to the lower portion. So then I had to put grill. So right now we have air fry going on and grill going on both at the same time. So you just pick, you know, the what you're needing time-wise and everything. And they're in there, they're going, and it's very quiet. Very, very quiet. So, so far so good. I'm sorry, I didn't catch you. I didn't film that part of it, but it was pretty easy to figure out and understand. Um, I believe it does connect to an app also. It's got the light option. Uh, can't really see much going on in there because I have my liner in there. It is non-stick. You don't necessarily need a liner, but I thought I would try it. And then the light is on there as well for the wings. I'm going to throw those in some butter and some buffalo sauce. So let's see how they turn out. I'm pretty excited. Okay, I just got this notification to turn the food, so we're going to do that. I love that feature. I absolutely love that. Okay, so the wings are done. I'm doing the cheese a little bit longer, but the wings are done. I did kind of pull them out and I poked and there is only clear juices coming through. So you can definitely cook it more if you want this to be a little bit more crispy. Yes, definitely do that if you want, um, but we're okay. Like I'm smooshing it and you wanna make sure it's running clear. You don't want the juices to be pink. So we are going to melt some butter and we're gonna to toss these in the butter and I'll show you the, um, the buffalo sauce that I'm going to use. It is my favorite one, which is Primal Kitchen right here. Buffalo sauce, it is spicy and clean ingredients, which goes along with everything that we're doing here today, right? So let's take a peek at the cheese. So there's the cheese. You can do this in a skillet. You can do it like we're doing it now, but you can see as it you know, kind of melts, it still holds its shape. It doesn't melt into each other so much that you can't, you know, oh yeah, we're about done here. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna give it a couple more minutes and then we're going to plate everything up. So stay tuned, I'm excited. Oops. Okay, so I mixed up the butter with my Primal Kitchen Buffalo sauce and here are my wings and my bread cheese. Now look, after you let it sit for a minute, you've just got this delicious, delicious melted cheese to eat. And this smells so good also. So I'm gonna dig in, but this is lunch. And I cooked both of these things at the same time, only utilizing one appliance. I dirtied a pan there, easy, the pan that the chicken was on. And I had a liner inside here, no mess inside the air fryer. So I do recommend the liners, even though it is, um, you know, non-stick. But very excited. I had to adjust some of the times a little bit, but we're not here for that. We know you just got to look up how long to cook chicken wings and stuff. But this is what I made. So I will be back to give you kind of like my review, pros and cons. What do I think? Hey everyone, it is the next day and I had fully intended on ending this video with what you saw. We made bread cheese in the air fryer, we did wings in the roasting portion, in the oven portion, and then I got to thinking overnight. I was like, you know what, you guys know I don't have an oven in here, so I need to try this thing out and see if it really works. Also bonus, when I use both of those functions together yesterday, my breakers did not blow in the air in the RV, which I can't guarantee that's not going to happen every time, but that was pretty cool. But I thought I would make some of my favorite keto chow macaroons. I'm so excited to try this because there's an oven feature in this air fryer oven combo. 
And not only that, but this little tray that I got from Aldi recently in their Aldi Fine section fits in it perfectly. So I can put my macaroons on here, stick them in the oven and cook them. So I am not gonna show me putting the macaroons together because I've done that in other videos. I'll link them down below if you would like to see those. And today I am using the lemon meringue. The recipe comes from like their lime flavored one and I just alter it to fit whatever flavor I'm getting. And in this one, I'm gonna add, and I don't have any lemon zest or anything, but I'm gonna add some lemon extract to just kind of zhuzh it up. So we're gonna make this, I'll show you like me putting it in the oven and setting it on the uh, timer and the temperature and everything. And then we're gonna see how this turns out. So this could be it right here. Okay, so as you can see, I have some macaroons on my tray. How cute are this? Are these? Are this? I have a few left. So one drawback is you can't make them all at once, but that's okay. I'm in a small space, so this is going to work great for me. But it's got the little grooves just like a regular oven where you would just set them in there. But look at this tray fitting perfectly. What? What? Look at that. All right, so turn it on we've got the lower and we need temperature of 350 and then we're gonna go we, we hit the button oh you're, you guys can't even see that I got the temperature I've hit the button time for 15 minutes and we hit start so that's it so I can't wait to see how these turn out all right I just got notification that it is done let's see what these things look like oh my gosh oh gosh look at that they're perfect oh my gosh I'm not prepared let me get my little uh, pampered chef thing so I can get them out of here so I'm so excited that I can use this tray they're perfect oh my goodness guys these are perfect I can bake oh my god oh I'm in heaven well, there you have it. There you have it. Uh, we just made dinner, a side, and dessert in one appliance. And all I have to clean is very minimal things. And we didn't use a lot of oil. We didn't fry anything, none of that. But I would say the star of the show are these. I'm so excited. And they smell so good too. If you haven't tried this recipe, I will have it linked down below, but it is thebomb.com. And Andy loves it too. So I like that it's not too sweet. But anyways, we're here to talk about the Medea air fryer combo here. Uh, you can do so much in it. If you're not convinced, I don't know what to tell you, but I think this is the one we're keeping. We're probably gonna be donating that other one. Uh, we have a local church that we can donate uh, things to, so I'm pretty excited about that. It'll go to a great home, and it's only been used a couple of times. But this one is staying in the family for quite some time. I'm very excited. There's been no popping of any breakers. I do believe this is a great thing to have in a small space or in an RV. It's great. I'm loving it. Uh, let me know what you think down below. They did have a link for you guys to order it if you're interested. I believe there's a discount, too. I didn't do my research, but I'll have it all listed down below. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited. We made all that food and here we are. I don't have much to clean up. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for Medea for sending me this to review. I absolutely love it. Andy and I are going to get so much use out of it. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.